Hello everyone, there are many ways and methods that you can use to simply check the health or the lifespan of your hard disk or SSD. Firstly, you have to go ahead and find out the manufacturer of your hard disk or SSD. Once you found out the name of it, you can just go ahead, search online and then download an official website and software and then through that you can check the health or the health of your uh, hard disk or SSD. In my case, I am using a Samsung uh, hard disk SSD. Now, uh, Samsung are calling it uh, Samsung Magician. If you visit their official website, you can just go ahead and download it from their official website. Once you download the application, you can just go ahead and install it inside your computer and then launch it. So in my case, once you launch the application, you can see that there is the drive health and it is saying that the health is good and it has written around 17 terabyte of data. And then you can also see the uh, temperature of the hard disk. That is really important. And then there are also the other uh, detail, more information Information are available including that you can update the firmware now if there were any type of error with the, the fr up, uh, firmware update you can those error can be fixed aside from that you can just go ahead and check for the diagnostics scan and the driver details performance benchmark and any other many other details are included there so you have to look for them yourself now uh, after the manufacturer website, I can introduce you to, to this application called Crystal Disk Info. Now, now this application is also very useful. Firstly, you can see that it is giving you a health status uh, related to your hard disk and then the temperature. Aside from that, you can see the other details like firmware, serial number, interface, driver and other details including the uh, host rights and then the rotation. However, we were looking for the health status and as you can see, it, is, it has given me the health status as good. So it is also quite an amazing application and it is open source. You can just go ahead and download it from their official website and you can see this is the download link. It is quite simple enough. Okay, aside this application, there is also many other applications that you can use. So, so far that you notice none of these two applications showed me a lifespan. So for that reason, uh, I can see you that you can just go ahead and use this application called Seagate Tools. You can just simply uh, open your official website and then from there you have to download the application then install it inside your computer. Now those three steps are really simple. You, can, you have to just scroll down and from here you uh, download it uh, for Windows and then install it. So after you install the application, you can just go ahead and launch the app and then you can see this is showing you a result of the free storage and then a lifespan. So as you can see, for now it is giving me a lifespan of 98% and it is good. If you want any further details, you can just go ahead and click on quick test and it will show you further details related to the hard disk. Now uh, there is also this application called um, Crucial or uh, storage executive by Crucial. Now, this is another company located inside UK and they are manufacturing hard disk and SSD and NVM2 and other data type of hard disk. Now, with this application, you can also install it inside your computer and then go ahead and check the health of your uh, SSD. So as you can see, uh, it is uh, saying that it is in good health and condition. Now, other than that, there is also the official method of Microsoft uh, located inside the settings. Uh, and then there is also the method to check it using the CMD. First, let me show, show you how you can check it from the settings. First, you have to open the settings app. And then once you open it, go to the system and then scroll down. Uh, storage and then the, again you have to scroll down and click on advanced storage settings again you have to scroll down and choose disks and volumes now click on that and now from here you can see your uh, hard disk or SSD name and other details including you can see the how many drives you have available inside your computer so below the file system you can see that uh, it is written healthy it means this drive is completely normal and you can it can be used for any type of tasks aside from that uh, if you want to completely find out the health status of the hard disk or the ssd you can just simply click on properties and now from here you have to select advanced disk properties now uh, under the device status you can see uh, the status and in the in my case it's saying that the, the, the uh, that this device is working properly so it means it is good to go now uh, the other method that I have as I said before is uh, CMD you have to open it and then you have to simply type WMIC and then uh, disk drive get status and press enter so as you can see it has shown me the result of status so these are some of the methods that you can simply use it to check the health of your hard disk or ssd 
However, the official method is most recommended since since they are more authentic and the results are more accurate. Now, depending on the uh, uh, manufacturer of your hard disk, uh, many of those applications are showing the lifespan, including, uh, for instance, a good example is WP. Now, they are uh, showing and a good. Uh, directly showing the software the lifespan however samsung in this case is not showing just it is showing how many data has been written uh, and there's also another important thing that you must note each hard disk or ssd has a specific amount of lifespan or uh, in simple words if i have to put it you can say that they can write an exact amount of data uh, after that that amount of data that has been written in that hard disk or ssd after that is going to fail for instance, if my hard disk can uh, read and write around, uh, for instance, 10,000 terabytes of data, once it reach that amount of limit, it is going to shut down itself permanently. That is the uh, health or the complete lifespan of that hard disk. That's why Samsung is showing a specific amount of uh, data has been written or no. Now, these de details, the moment you purchase a hard disk or SSD, uh, they, there will be written that how much storage it can read and write that is written in the cover of that uh, specific hard disk so unfortunately i do not have that uh, hard disk other i have seen it so based on that i am saying it so i hope this video has been helpful to you let me know your thoughts or if you have any other method which is more which is more efficient than this method let me know it in the comment section i will be happy to embrace it and increase it into my knowledge so for now have a nice day and goodbye